Beautiful babies. It's tarot time. I'm shaking with the energy right now. It's so potent and powerful. There's a breakthrough coming in for many of you that have worked, been working hard on yourself, doing healing, stepping into your power, uncovering your soul blueprint. Whoa, okay. Three of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You have walked away from heartbreak. You've walked away from the people that have been breaking your heart. And if you haven't yet, this is you, your higher self calling you to do so. You've walked away from the people that didn't serve you to your wish fulfillment. From the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. You've cleared space for your dreams to come true. I mean, I'm like shaking with this energy. Powerful, powerful, transformative energy, okay? On the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. You have offers coming in. You have love coming in. You have uh, the opportunity to change your life forever. Once you clear the decks emotionally and open your heart, open your heart. Something is trying to come in right now to bless your life is what I'm hearing. Are you kidding me? One, one, one on my timer when I looked up. Ten of fucking cups. One, one, one on my timer. Temperance, okay? God is trying to come. Whoa, whoa. God is trying to come in and balance things out for you. You got the nine of pentacles. Again, eight from the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. There's progression here. This card is about abundance, financial abundance, independence, freedom. I'm hearing financial freedom. This card is about emotional fulfillment, happiness, happily ever after. Are you kidding me right now? The Hierophant in reverse. You might be blocking your intuition. You might be blocking some of this God energy that's trying to come in and balance things for you, okay? Stop holding on to the past. Stop holding on to your resources. Invest in yourself. Spend your money and time investing in your dreams right now. God is going to match you. I'm shaking with this energy. It's no joke, y'all. All right, babies. What else do we need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides for showing us how to move during this potent, powerful time. Lots of cards here. I'm taking all of them. You, two, 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 on my timer. You're, all, you're at the precipice of a grand adventure. After carrying a lot of burdens, you've been through a lot. Spirit has challenged you, and you're a little wary now, all right? A wounded warrior card. You're like, oh, I don't know if I can trust you. Stay away from me. But Spirit's asking you to recognize that you are held. You are safe. Um, master your emotions. Flow with your emotions. Honor your emotions. Because the wheel is about to turn in your favor, okay? There's a celebration coming in. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And you're going to have, you're going to go from this period of stagnation and not feeling like you're collaborating with others, not being around anyone. A lot of you have been in isolation during the pandemic to celebrating with friends, new friends, old friends, new lovers, um, if that's what you're looking for. But uh, I'm shaking. I, honestly, I can't even express how potent and powerful this energy is. Thank you, Spirit. Woo! What else do we need to know for this beautiful collective? Okay. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and the fucking Six of Wands. Are you kidding me right now? This is about success, celebration, being lifted up, being... Um, this doesn't depict it as well as I would like. But you also have the Eight of Wands. It's coming in quickly, okay? Movement. Quick forward movement. I'm not taking all the rest of these. But on the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you have been blocking this. New beginning. Look at that doorway. It's calling you. Wow, you guys. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. If you've been doing it all, doing the work, these are yours now. You have access to this doorway. This new portal is open. This is your fountain your cup about to be overflowing because you've emptied your cup of what didn't serve you you've walked away from the people that didn't have your back that didn't have your best interest at heart i cannot find it anywhere but the eight of cups was here uh, walking away all right you are not alone right now your guides are with you spirit is with you every step of the way beyond the threshold of fear is where your magic is going to happen beyond the threshold of fear is where you can trust yourself um, too many cards. Too many cards. <sighs> Spirit, wow. Liberation. Beyond the threshold of fear is your liberation. You're about to be set free. You are about to be set free into a new era of your life. 
Ten of Cups era. You've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this doorway. A portal to a new dimension. A portal to a new you. Okay? You've got the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You've got uh, a celebration coming in. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. So much abundance. So much abundance. And freedom. Keep moving toward your goals. Keep pouring into yourself and your dreams. Do not give up right now. Lipstick on my teeth. Don't even care. Don't let anything distract you or disrupt you from moving forward diligently toward your dreams. And if people don't believe in you, it's time to cut them out. Even if it's just temporary, you can't be surrounded by people that don't believe in you if you're trying to reach your goals, especially if they're hard goals to reach, okay? If you're reaching for the stars, you need to have people around you that believe in you, okay? I believe in you. I believe in you. Keep going. If you need a private reading, my website is sacredmuseproject.com. I'll put it in the description box as well, as well as the pinned comment. I love you. You're amazing. Keep going. Mm -hmm.